Okay, so we're gonna play some more Calamities. And today's plan is to slay the XOMX, you know. If we can do that, that is. Apparently these two bosses are like extra hard, but hey, let's at least die trying. Because that's what we're gonna do multiple times, die trying. Let me quickly... There's some some crust on my headphone. I'm gonna clean that shit up. Let me also capture Terraria. Also, try Edge of Space. I love how ancient these like game recommendations for Terraria are. Because Terraria is a pretty old game. Alright, let's get back in. Oh yeah, we got the freaking gamer lands over here, how we, you know, when we cheated. So here we go. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. Alright, so, if I remember correctly, first things first, we gotta craft the new armor. <laughs> you won't believe, what's going on, what? You won't believe me! Let's get some Spelunker potions and get down there and mine some more Auric Ore. You forgot what happened last time? Yeah, we killed the dragon and got the bacon sword, which I hate by the way. It sucks like big bots. I don't believe it's actually good, <laughs> but I guess I gotta use it in action to see how it works. <laughs> it's so bad, I hate it, I hate it so much. All right, let's go to the side from here. Out of my way, out of my way. I'm here for some ore. Okay, well, that was pretty fast, but that doesn't tell anything, you know. It's still shitty in my opinion. <laughs> oh, well, where's my pickaxe? Dude, we need help. There we go. Also, get rid of that Zerk potion. It's so slow and like, God. <laughs> there we go. I think this is Hello or Yeah, that's not what we're after. Terraria! Terra fart. Ooh, underground corruption. Funny. So you know how you always get a glass of water and a cup of coffee for every stream? Yes, I know, you drink coffee. So they usually start piling up after a while. No? Naturally, once you finish a stream, you take the cups to the kitchen and clean them. But go on. <laughs> and I kid you not, the real actual Scout TF2 told you on Twitter to go watch them. DUDE! <laughs> Scout based! Dude, can you link the tweet? I actually wanna see this shit, that's amazing. So you did! All it took was fucking Scout TF2 to tell you to watch them. Hang on, let me take a look at this. You, the one watching this video right now. Yeah, 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 you. Hey, go wash your dishes. Yeah, I know you got some. They're in your sink, they're in your room. I don't know where the hell they are, <laughs> but I know you got some, all right? So get in there and do them. You're creating an inconvenience for yourself and the people you live with. 
go do them. Don't you dare click off this video and act like you didn't hear me. Because I will know. And I got so many baseball bats. This is this is so fucking good. I'm gonna retweet it right now. This is so fucking good. <laughs> you know, no shame. But I don't understand how people can just leave dishes lying around. Especially in their room. You know, maybe I can understand like a, like a cup. You know, or something like that. But like, plates they used to like eat with. You know, like imagine you eat like pasta. And you just leave your pasta plate on your room. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> You hate having dishes in your room, you have, uh, you keep, you need to get rid of all your bottles, yeah. I hate how tiny my mushroom biomes are. I think they actually made the mushroom biomes, like, bigger in Journey's End. You're a messy teenager, dude. Get over it. <laughs> uh, that's understandable. Oh, yeah, you'll get over it. Not like... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I read that wrong. Oh, shit. We're in the ice biome. Hang on. By the way, guys, I'm, uh, I'm slightly under the weather. Not like... I don't have an actual, like... Um... You know, what's it called? Fever or anything like that. But I had like a migraine the other day. Very bad one. And it's still affecting my head. So, you know. If I sound weird, it's probably that. <laughs> I'm getting moldy. <laughs> Your time has come. Succumb to the mold. Come. Too high up. We need to go deeper. My grains suck. Hope I feel better soon. Oh, don't worry about it. It was on Saturday. So yeah, I'm already feeling better, but it... Like a good migraine actually takes like a couple of days to heal. It's pretty, pretty scary. How much of this shit do we have? 308. That's pretty good, but we need more. So I actually read up on uh, how to summon the Exomex. And apparently it's like a one giant fetch quest where you have to like find the electrical components around the world and like bring them together or something. So that's what we're gonna do tonight after I finish like this armor. So we finally have an answer to what the hell those like weird electrical bases or whatever like who are. Is there a way to make this mount faster? Is there like an upgrade that I don't know about? No, sadly. Dude, where's all the fucking ore? Kinda shit that, that I couldn't finish the river stream and last night, which means that there's gonna be a stream where I just play through Candy Chateau. <laughs> That's just gonna be like, bruh. But I, I can't leave it hanging, so I'll, I'll figure out a good time when I finish it off. Dude. Dude, there we go. Ooh, that's a good, good one. What? <laughs> you weren't feeling too good yourself today, so you decided to stay home from work. You called them and it was okay, that's good. Let's see if this is enough.
Alright, what else did we need? Where's our guide? Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. So, we have the God Slayer armor. And the blood. Okay. But what is the Tarragon? Well, time to check the wiki, okay. Terraria Calamity Wiki Tarragon Armor. Tarragon. <laughs> you heard Gut Slayer. <laughs> uh, crafted from Oily Bloon and Divine Geodes. Oh, I see. How do we get Divine Geodes again? Okay, Providence. Okay, so Oily Bloom and Divine Geodes. That's, uh, that's good. Oily Bloom. All right, here we go. Dragon breastplate and Dragon leggings. And do we need like a specific mask or something? Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Would be this one, so let's craft the Terragon helmet. Okay. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, now what we need? We needed like an ice shield for. What's the diff? Oh yeah, yeah, the seal of armor. You might get a Steam Deck email today. Yo, shit. Someone actually tweeted me a picture of Raymond Redemption running on a Steam Deck. It looked mighty clean. Frost barrier. I have two. Alright, how do I actually craft this armor? Portable scoop kick when, dude! You can already do that. Cosmic anvil. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. I had it in my inventory right here. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god! The ultimate armor. <laughs> bada beam, bada boom. You're excited to have proper portable redemption and dreamers boundary, dude, hell yeah. Do you gamers want to see what Mario looks like in his new movie? An <laughs> image leaked? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Fingerless gloves. <laughs> Wait. Wait, hang on, no. This is not real. This is the- no. Okay. My initial reaction was like, ah, good meme, good laugh, epic funny. But then, okay. I will assume this is April Fool's until proven otherwise. You know, can't trust anything these days, especially Raymond to back to school. So, okay. I will say this. 20% of me thinks this might be real, and 80% thinks it's fake. It's fake? Okay, there we go, yeah. Always gotta have that little caution. That's scary though, imagine if real. Yeah, <laughs> you wanted to see what we would think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, guide. What about the pants? Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and boot, boots and pants and... The freaking flying carpet? What? It has the uncanny vibe like the first Sonic design. Sonic isn't uncanny! Okay, let's see if we can get the flying carpet in a calamity. Terraria. Calamity. Flying. Carpet. Vanilla item recipes. Flying carpet, how do I get... Okay, it's ancient cloth and souls of night and souls of light. <laughs> it was... That was uncanny and weird. Wait, do you mean Sonic or Mario? Oh, you mean the scrapped movie design? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how do I get ancient cloth? I need 10. It has a chance to drop from ghouls. Okay. Ghouls. <laughs> the real one will be more bootleg. <laughs> I'm... Oh, no. I destroyed the tile by accident. That's gonna bother me, like, forever, unless I fix this. There we go. So let's go get some ancient cloth. Look at the HP though. Oh my god! I guess I'm just gonna break a couple of tiles here in the middle. Let's take the dragon power for a test ride, you know. Can't be that bad, you know. Sun mask vanity item? Bruh. Bacon. <laughs> Coping! <laughs> yeah, there has to be some redeeming qualities. There, there just has to. Is that your worm? Yeah, this little dude swishing around, that's mine. <laughs> it can't be that bad, Copium. Dude, I can't even do anything because this worm is like killing everyone. I mean, that's good, but also like, holy shit. It kills things off screen, so I won't have the chance to see if they drop. The thing I need, this one. I need four more. Let's break this place open a little bit. Create like a little farming area. Oh, there's one. Oh, here's another one. Okay, two more. Yo, thanks for the sub. <laughs> this music kicks ass. Yep. I was confused for a moment because I've never seen a message like that. It was like weird. Oh, desert chest? Is this vanilla or calamity? What should be a magic carpet? Oh, huh, interesting. Okay, we're on biome, let's go back up.
This worm is so good at killing these enemies, but also a bit too good. Yo. You're planning on buying some new emotes? Yo! You gotta keep the Nebula Dance emote though, that one is so good. <laughs> <laughs> the dance is staying. Yo, thanks for the sub. Yo, speaking of like, um, emotes. You know how you just sometimes receive like random sub emotes as a gifts? To like channels you've never even watched? That happened to me the other day. And without naming any names, the emotes were kinda. Zeus. And I don't mean that in a funny way. <laughs> so I checked their channel. And... Looks like they streamed Redemption recently, so I guess some of their community decided to gift me a sub. But... <laughs> it's definitely a bit, bit funny. Ah, oh, there's the last one. Oh my god. That's a new one. Gotta... Gotta take that message and add it into the freaking thing. Wanna get some viewers? Get into my profile and you'll get some viewers. You know... Gotta add that to the banned word list. <laughs> I love the not really response. Yeah, these new bot messages are crazy. Hello. Welcome. You just missed a funny bot. <laughs> there we go, flying carpet. And there's the boots and pants and boots and pants! Magic carpet effect? Wait, how do you do that? I don't remember. And what's the last thing for the headgear guide? Where? Bad the word nebula? No. No. God, no. Okay, psychotic amulet. Amulet. Uh, we need to go dig some more of that ore because we need more. Spelunky! Dude, I should play some Spelunky again. I haven't in a while. No, <laughs> ban, ban, ban. Your internet is hella laggy. Still? Dude, something is definitely up. Wow. Beep, beep. Okay, just the one message. That's good. Thanks for the sub. Okay, let's go down here. I hate how you can't drink potions while riding mounts. <laughs> Ermine bubble. Ear mint. Isn't it like some freaking like real food or something like spear mint? You should have called yourself spear mint bubble. Ermine is an animal. <laughs> Ermine.
experiment is kind of a mint. <laughs> Freaking mint! Dude, fucking mint, dude. Can't believe uh, freaking crypto bros ruined the term mint. Spearmint wouldn't fit the pastel image you cultivate, that's true. You had a dream that Bionicle came back? Yo! But not the way everyone wanted. The classic six heroes came back, but they were renamed <laughs> Enviromasters. And each one represented a type of green energy and fought against climate change. That... wait. That's real, right? Like... What's the show called? Where there's like a blue man who fights against like... Gases. Like that sounds like a real thing. What? Captain Planet, that's the one, yeah. Captain Planet. Let's go one more. Maybe we gotta kill another Uharon tonight. We'll see how things go. Oh shit, we found a thing! Does it actually contain some of the stuff we need for... Uh, you know, the Exomex spawner? Tokyo Mimi had an environmental message. Nice. Oh yeah, that's some uh, fine stuff. Little bit more. Ah, here we go. You hope the anime revival makes Ring of Canon and removes the copy of sexual harassment. Dude, out of context, this is like fucking crazy to listen to. <laughs> Ring of from Puyo Puyo Tetris? You never heard of Captain Planet, but now you now that you've seen it, you now recognize all the references that other media has used him for. Yeah. Captain Planet has been like the butt of the jokes for like years. Because like, <laughs> who would actually care about the environment, right? Called Amulet, there we go. Dude, what what do we need? Oh I crafted the wrong one! I crafted the helmet! What am I supposed to craft the helm? Oh my god! That's so bad. Okay, crafty helm, crafty helm, not the helmet, crafty helm. Dude, what was it called, the thing that I needed for it? Ah! <laughs> what was the thing called? It was like the, the thing that dropped from profanity. The, the little clusters. Oh, I gotta take a look at the wiki. Divine geodes, that's it. 
divine bees. Well, I still got some extra. Okay. So craft the helm. There we go. Well, guys, now we got the super armor. Let's start working uh, on those Exomex. Actually, we can still craft something if we want to. From the ore. Let's see, is there actually anything interesting here? I want one of these crazy ass swords. There was a character called Ringo in a video game based on it who is great. Also, the manga had two boys who behave like Chat Noir, but kinda worse. What is Chat Noir? Oh, Cat Noir from freaking Miracle's Ladybug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's focus on spawning the boss first. And after that, let's focus on a sword. So, time to bring up the wiki article. Exomex. So spawning, they require the player to construct the code breaker with a decryption machine and an ore quantum cooling cell. Okay. Okay, so the code breaker is a piece of constructible furniture that consists of six different components scattered throughout the progression. Okay. Codebreaker uh, base. How do I get this? Oh, here we go. Crafting. Most components of the codebreaker are required to be unlocked through en decryption. What? If the requirement have not been met, two lines of two tulip that are added at the bottom of these. Oh my god, it's complicated! Fuck off! Codebreaker base has no special requirements. Okay, this is gonna be just me tabbing in and out continuously, so get ready. We need dubious plating. Complications in my game? <laughs> no! I like that! Mysterious circuit. Well, thank god I have been, like, collecting these during my playthrough and a charging station. Now, where the fuck do I get a charging cha station from? Let's go take a look at this planet up here. Maybe it holds some answers. <laughs> Exomex sounds like a JRPG. It really does. I'm coming in! Oh, there's a station we need. Okay. Charging station. Okay, here we go. Codebreaker base. Let's start putting the stuff over here on the arena. Just in case. So we can spawn the guys over here. Okay, how do I operate this fucking thing? Roy on his so-called jog in the forest before his dreams. <laughs> what do you mean? Jog? Why the quotation marks? What are you implying I do on my jogs? Why did that play twice? You heard the stream minimized and you thought you heard the Lego building sound. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so decryption computer requires the sunken sea schematic to be found. I don't know what that means. Well, let's see if I can craft it anyway. I actually kind of like this, that you actually have to work towards spawning this boss. Sus about when? Uh, any suggestions? Like, eyebrow? Or like, among us? Like, what's, what's, what's the idea here?
Yeah, right rock eyebrow. But it's right guy. Yeah, maybe. Okay, can I craft this thing? Oh, what? Okay. How do... How do I do? No decryption computer installed? So what, do we need like a... Wait. How am I... Okay, hang on. Most components of the code breaker are required to be unlocked through decryption. If the requirements have not been met, two lines of tooltips are added at the bottom of these items. You don't have sufficient knowledge to create this yet, a specific similarity must be. <sighs> Decryption computer. Allows access to the decryption UI capable of decrypt decrypting. Wait, but how do I get this schematic if I need to like decrypt it first? Like, how do I freaking do it in the first place? <laughs> so, to unlock the decryption computer, I must decrypt this certain thing? Yeah, this but right guy. Yeah, the, the freaking eyebrow. But we already got the analyze emote. Requires a code breaker with a basic decryption computer. Guys. I don't have the capacity tonight to like be brain blasting. Can I use one of these or something? Oh shit. What? What does this mean? I'm gonna bring this home. Power cell factory? What is this bullshit? Cinder plate? Okay, okay, hang on. Let's bring this home. And see what we need to do with these. Wiki time. Can be placed. Produces dried on power cells over time. One cell is produced every 15 seconds. What? Do I like plop this like here? Charges dried on arsenal items using power cells. Place both an item and a power cell into the charging station to charge the. Oh my god, this is bullshit. Why do I suddenly gotta, like, charge my items? Some freaking, like, calamity experts watching this being like, No, you're doing it all wrong! Okay, I'll try to make sense of the wiki. Give me a moment. So how... How to decrypt this shit? Terraria, calamity, how to get... Decryption computer. Okay. Schematics are items found in all five biocenter labs. Okay. They're used to unlock various item crafting with two build plating and with Okay. Uh how do I decrypt them? This item can only be crafted if the player has ever picked up. Okay. Uh. Uh. I found a Reddit article, but in usual fashion, the dude is just got it working. You need schematic from Sunk and Sea. Wait, what?
Uh, I mean, I'm not understanding. Not understanding. Look up a tutorial. What's up, guys? Today I will show you Terraria Calamity Boss. Oh my god, this is how you get it. First thing you gotta like. Okay. Maybe I actually need the anvil and not the upgraded anvil, you know. Sometimes it can be like that, that you need the original anvil for crafting. Let's try that. No? Okay. <laughs> it's never like that? Oh, okay. This became a Minecraft technique mod, yeah, all of a sudden, fucking hell. Let me... Requires a code breaker with a basic decryption computer to decrypt. What? But... Uh... Six different components scattered throughout the progression. It used it is used to decrypt schematics to unlock various items and also used to initiate the Exomex boss. Can be placed on the code breaker allows you to allows access to the decryption you are capable of decrypting. Wait, maybe I don't have enough materials. Let me double check. 18, 20, 100, 10, 15, and the sunken sea. Wait, do I actually have the sunken sea schematic? Oh my god. <gasps> okay, I need the sunken sea schematic. Okay, 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 so how do I find that then? Okay, okay, crisis averted. What did you miss? <laughs> Nothing. I was just freaking like... Trying to understand how this bullshit works. This suddenly turned into a Minecraft Technic mod, so you can understand my pain. I guess we're going, going down, down, back to the abyss. Chrissy's? Oh my god. Chrissy averted! Holy shit, Chrissy! Chrissus. Look at me, I'm flying. Hey, Technic mod? I'm Lego Technic? Dude, I wish. I wish it was Lego Technic. How do you perform uh, the magic carpet thing? Maybe I gotta run out of... Uh... Okay, yeah, there we go. Chris averted. Tag dig. Here we go. I wanna build with some bionicles again. Maybe I'll do that. Whoa! <laughs> Build the new Environmasters. <laughs> Real? Did I bring the diving suit? Yes, I did. Uh, which one am I gonna sacrifice, actually? It's indeed tough. You... <laughs> Some people call you that. Christy. You learned of a weird old British puppet show called Pipkins from the 70s. Oh yeah, I saw the picture of the rabbit. Fucking ravenous.
Let's see if it's at the very top, uh, bottom, and I just missed it like last time I was playing. <laughs> William Afton. <laughs> Maybe I deleted it, because I remember going down here and finding something. Maybe I deleted it from my inventory, which means I gotta craft a new one. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Oh no, now we anger the beast. Oh my god, so bad. I hate this weapon so much. Watch as I, like, actually decimate these enemies with this sword. There we go. Okay. I assume I deleted it from my inventory because I thought it's useless. Uh, let's see if I can craft it. Let's see if I can. I need some basic sand. <laughs> Boomer should make puppet. I don't puppets. I don't understand why all old puppets aimed at kids are like nightmarish. Didn't they just realize that they're nightmarish? <laughs> Michael! Michael! Don't leave me here! <coughs> Michael! Michael! My <laughs> I fucking love that so much. <laughs> good old FNAF memes, dude. FNAF memes are so fucking good. Michael! <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can craft this now. That was the best episode of the original VHS series. I can't craft it. Okay, what the fuck am I gonna? Okay, hang on. Maybe I just gotta find it from the abyss by opening some freaking like these. Let's go again. Pussy. The William Afton VA did a fantastic job monologuing for five minutes. The VHS tapes themselves aren't like, you know, that like good in my opinion. Like <laughs> They are like, you know, good, but they aren't like good, you know, they aren't like scary, but the voice acting, yeah, especially for the William Afton was very good. I, I don't really care for them. The weird remakes that I don't remember who, like Epic Man 69 or something has been making on YouTube. The remakes have been pretty cool, but then I, again, they're not like scary, you know. <laughs> Afton these nuts. They weren't that scary, but you respect what the guy did with their own story and the like. Yes. FNAF really is like a blank, blank canvas. You can use the world and the the rules and make your own. Oh, I should have bought prods on Spelunker potions. Ah! <laughs> All right, let's go down. Down, down, down. I'm just gonna fucking kill this 
Dragon Power Weapon. I, like, the sword is so much better. You think Wendy Goon is going to make a video about some of those FNAF analog horror things? <laughs> now that the plot summary video, Wendy Goon mentioned, he actually already made and I watched it. You know, that's that's how I, you know, got the confirmation that this isn't scary. But at least the story is cool. Or like, you know, the story. The thing that the dude made, you know, it's cool. <laughs> Did I take the shadow key? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> when the goon mentioned. Oh no, I don't want to fight the Eidolos worm. Not right now when I need these, you know. Oh, fuck you. You thought nobody here watched Wendigoon? I've been watching Wendigoon since his channel started, you know. Adolist? What the hell is this? No. No. I don't know rhyme or reason why I'm standing here holding my blade. Oh no! Colossal squid. More like squid games. There we go. Strange orb. Dude, where's the fucking schematic? Maybe I gotta dig down. That's that's my next plan. Maybe that's what I gotta do. That's the only thing I can think of. Unless there's like a hidden chest somewhere in here. Oh, hello. <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, let's drain the void. You don't think most of them are that scary, but there is one that actually gave you cold sweat and it was the cheapest scare ever, but you cheated. Which one is that? I might want to watch it. I honestly don't know where this fucking schematic is, if I'm doing something wrong or, you know... I guess... I guess I'm gonna Google that. Why am I like dying? Dude, what's going on here? Oh yeah, it's the it's the funny weather. Is it actually like filling this place up? Oh it's there's too much water, it's it's stuck. Stuck. Okay, Google. Time to use you again. Terraria Calamity. How to get underwater schematic or whatever schematics. There has to be sunken sea. No, I'm an idiot. Sunken sea is a different biome. Ah! Okay. This one. Okay, hang on. Let me quickly take a look. Oh my god. Dude, we gotta make a- do a stream during Halloween where we just watch freaking like, scary spooky FNAF YouTube videos! Would that be epis? I think it would. <laughs> it's so 
Oh shit, yeah, that makes it 100% scarier. Hell yeah. Epis! <laughs> Nuke's top 5. Did you see it? Let's take another look. Dude, why? Why the lag? Why? The lag. Oh my god! Holy shit! What's going on? Oh, now we're fine. Did you see it? On the right side of the door frame. <laughs> Farting on my roommate's door. <laughs> Watch it crash. Uh, thank God it didn't. Alright, now we just gotta like find the lab, I guess. That weird Twitch audio sync is happening on your my stream too. Okay, if it's happening on my stream too, then that's a Twitch problem. I'm farting on my roommate's door. Is the audio suddenly a bit desync for anyone else? You know it's a Twitch problem, but it sucks, yeah. Dude, who this? <laughs> You're amazed he fought it so hard he forced he forced a ghost into his home. <laughs> Been happening on one of your friends' stream for a couple of weeks now, but it's the first time it's happening on someone else's stream. And other viewers and your friends reported the same problem. Mm. There is a delay, but it's so slight you didn't even notice. Like an audio delay? For you too? Audio delay, yeah, okay, but it's like super slight. I'm gonna check the VOD and see if I notice anything, and if I do, I'm gonna start investigating. It erratically happens to only some viewers, hmm. And it only happens during live time, not in the VODs. Yeah, definitely sounds like a funny, funny Twitch problem. Oh, here it is. I, I think, yeah, look at this, okay. I'm coming in! Apparent danger while researching serves only to enhance the research experience. No. There it is! Let's go. Dude, Queen Bee? What the fuck? Is there anything else noteworthy in this base? Maybe I should take some of this stuff with me. Oh, it's just a reinforced crate. Like, one of these items has to be important, I guess. Or like, used in crafting. Alright, let's go home. 
refresh the player and it fixed. It fixes for a moment, but the problem will return. This shit looks like a Minecraft base, yeah. I'm not too keen on the art style of this, like, weird technology thing. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, can I craft a PC now, please? What, what do I what what do you want from me guide? What do you want from me? Ah the glass the glass ass Yeah <laughs> the bingus music it really was the the bingus music What bingus Alright, a decryption computer. Consumable can be placed on the code breaker. Hey, there we go! Okay, so this one has been used now. 500 watt. What is that? Ugh. Now I gotta figure out how to do that. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let's put these schematics I don't need anymore down here. Um, power cell, power cell. Let's take a look at the power cell. Requires the planetoid schematic to be decrypted. Okay. How do I use these? Terraria Calamity power cell. Radon power cell. Consumable that are generated by the power cell factory when used and correctly. Okay. Power cell factory is a unique piece of furniture found in Arsenal Labs. They are naturally found in, uh, inactive but can be broken and replaced by the player to make them functional. Every 15 seconds the power cell factory generates a Dryden power cell, which can be retrieved by right-clicking the factory. These power cells can be used in the charge uh, certain weapons. Each fuel factory can hold up to 9,900... Okay. <laughs> there are your underground music is forever linked to bingos in your brain. What? Bingus! Oh, we actually do have some power cells in here. Do I like... Oh, I see. Oh no! We're gonna need like so many of those. This is just gonna be a waiting game now. Well, let's plop down as many as we can. And let's go make sure we didn't miss any elsewhere. Sega has started to send Sega and Atlus branded Sucker to their old, now left famous employees. That's cool. Little appreciation, I guess. That's a very Yakuza thing to do. <coughs> if you know, you know. Alright, let's plop those here. We need more. There's a couple of bases, like... Have we found the jungle base? I don't think we have. Maybe we gotta, like, go there. Well, you know, better not waste time and, I, you know, actually use time wisely. You know, use bombs wisely! So let's go to the jungle, look for the base, and while waiting for those things to, like, happen. When the imposter is so... What? Bingus? Yo! Huh? Right money? 
Scoop Geek Team Beatbox. <laughs> Dude, leave me. Hello, welcome back. You tried to purge your Twitch cookies and see if it helps. I suspect it's gonna be somewhere on this layer. So let's go to the left. Let's find the border and uh, go from there. I wish there was a way to zoom out in Terraria to like actually see around you and possibly find the base in that way. <laughs> yeah, because Terraria isn't zoomed out enough. Yeah, but that would be like a cheese. You spent a couple of hours this morning making a Lego PN tube, tuber thingy. Oh, you mean the little yucky Lego avatar? Are you actually going to use it in a stream? Oh, that's just ore. This is the edge of the biome, so let's go down here. What does the new LEGO release? The Star Wars one? Is it like tomorrow? I saw a tweet where it just said like, one day. There is a chance it's somewhere in here, in the darkness. Now let me check. Another queen bee? How does this keep happening? You had an earlier version, but you used it in, in, used it in streams, but you noticed it was completely missing its torso printing. Oh shit! I didn't even realize. I thought it's just supposed to be purple. Why he purple though? Okay, I don't think it's over there. How about down here? Why he purple though? What? Suddenly water? Insane. I wish there was an item that like sucked in items and like instantly transported them into the void bag. Well, not the void bag, but they're like the mod item system thingy, you know? Like, everything you collect would be just like, swooshed in there. Another queen bee spawned. Gravity ring, is that real? 
I mean, it would like instantly chuck them to the item system. Yo, honey. When you're so strong, you can kill bosses with one hit using your pickaxe. <laughs> yeah. Lava jungle. Yo, we found it! No way. Real? Okay. <laughs> You're having pizza today? Let's go! Day instantly better. Dude, pizza. <laughs> pizza hype. It's the small things in life, dude. I hear some chests. Also, I need these. Ooh. There's the encrypted schematic. Schematic! Anything else in this place? Uh, doesn't look like it. All right, let's go home. Jizza, the forbidden flavor. We're not gonna talk about the urban legend pizza again. I thought we were past that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Jizza. The fam famous Finnish cum pizza, yeah. Dude. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Cum pizza has been a recurring topic on these streams uh, in, the, in the past. And I don't want to bring it back up, back, you know, again. No, no, no. Bruh, now we just wait? Dude, come on. Waiting game? Waiting game? <laughs> come on. Well, while we wait, let's use the time wisely. I don't know, grind for Blood Moon or something. Let me quickly make sure. Or like check what the next step is. Okay, jungle is the next one. Alright. Long range sensory array. Well, let's use the time wisely. Let's see if I can beat Biharon Potionless with this new gear of mine. How do you correctly pronounce Jitsa? It, it, it's, it's that, what I just said. Because Jis and Pizza. Jitsa. You know, I think of two very different things when we talk about kind of pizza. <laughs> I didn't bring it up! It wasn't me, I didn't bring up Jitsa tonight. I didn't. It sounds like an illness! Can we talk about something else? Yes. Wait! The sword! While we wait, let's see if I can uh, craft the epi sword. Hang on.
There's like a crazy ass sword you can craft. And I want it. This is like a parry mechanic and shit. Like, I don't fucking care about that. Just give me a fucking sword to craft. Okay, let's start with the Ark of the Elements. So it needs... Ark of the Ancients, which is another sword. And that needs... Fractured Ark, which is another sword. And that needs... Okay, we can craft this. We can do this. But is it Jitsa or Jitsa? Why would it be Jitsa? You learned David Wise combos the music for Star Fox Adventures. Actually, yeah. It was a rare game after all, I just realized. So maybe I should uh, re-listen uh, to the soundtrack and, you know... Star Fury. Enchanted sword, let's go! And purified gel. And any copper bar. Slime is falling, bruh. Bruh. What am I doing wrong? Wait, you don't craft... Oh, you go directly to Ark of Ancients? Hang on. Interesting. Okay. Let's do that then. So this has changed for, from what the Wikipedia article tells us. Okay. I'm down. Cause pizza. It's pizza. Jitsa. Something that upsets you about games like this is that you have to replace your cool weapons with ugly ones eventually. What do you mean? The late game weapons are also cool. They're even cooler, you know. LA woman sunlight. Hello there. Welcome. And what was it again? Excalibur. Do we have hallowed or... Oh shit, wait. Quickly. Oh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Quick. That's some good hollow bar. Nebula about the bacon. <laughs> bacon dragon. Baking bacon. Woo! Excalibur. Okay, here we go. The Ark of the Ancients. Let's go. So how do I upgrade that? Okay, looks like this remains the same. Okay, wait, no. Core of Calamity, Hero Sword, and Light Charge. Core of Calamity, Hero Sword, and Light Charge. There we go. Oh, yeah, Living Shard, not Light. You never made a yo yo, haven't? Yeah, I never made a yo yo. What of it? All the yo-yos look the same. The second strongest yo-yo is a gross eyeball, and the only stronger yo-yo is a moon or drop. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, here we go. True Ark of the Ancients. All right. And this one becomes Ark of the Elements. They changed the graphic. They uh, pfft, they changed the graphic of this sword. It's 
it's less cool. I like the original graphic that they have on the wiki. But oh well. You will, you'll be streaming tonight to specifically teach people how to make custom Rayman 2 levels because you released the engine to the public. You wanted to raid yesterday, now is your chance. Okay, I will do that. Remind me guys, Pep, remind me to raid me. Hope you're having fun. I'm having fun with Terraria, thanks for dropping by. Yes, so... Okay, you released the engine, so yeah. I'll definitely download that and like have a look because I'm excited. I want to make some Rayman 1 levels in <laughs> Rayman 2. And okay. <laughs> Omk 3D Rayman 1 levels? Yes! Yes! Okay, life alloy. How much was it? Five. Okay. Five. Life alloy. It was a uh, scoria bar and something else. You can link, give me a link here if you can. Uh, yeah, sure. Just drop it there. But if you put it in the modding Discord, I'm sure I'll find it from there too. Okay, perennial and cryonic. Cryonic, here we go. You gotta remake the entirety of Redemption in 3D now. Oof! At that point, I just make a standalone game. You always put the eyeballs yo-yo where your character hair is so it looks like googly eyes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just put the link here in chat if you if you can, if it's not too much trouble, because we're interested for sure. It's not pinned? Okay, then just put it here if you can. And I'll... Uh, I'll bookmark it for myself. Your guide. Get in here. Galactical Singularity, five of those, so that means we need these. Those. These. I've never seen anything like this on Earth. And then, Core of Calamity, five Cores of Calamity. Oof, alright, that means we gotta grind this dude. Let's see if it uh, goes quickly with this new newfound power of mine. Dude, this guy's melting. Ravager, more like <laughs> Ravage D's. <laughs> Let's try the Dragon Pow. Oh my god, it's so bad. I'm gonna like get it out of my hotbar. Like, there's no even comparison. Look at this sword! You hate to scream. Oh, yeah, yeah. The wee when the boss spawns. It's like a pig. Pig on Dracar is so shit. It really is. I'm gonna, like, just totally get rid of it. I'm gonna end the series with me deleting it. For now, let me put it in the chest right here. Okay, there's the link. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, Pep, could you do me a... Could you do me a tight favor and copy-paste that on the Discord so I can take a look at it later? Oh, thank you. You gotta stream me, Topia. Holy shit! You would have more shoe in there. 
Just like how you deleted Red Cat. Yeah, fuck Red Cat. But Red Cat did come back in the wrestling match. So Red Cat is canonically back and he knows how to fuck. Wait, I have boosted power if I stand still, so can I just like stand here and do ultimate damage to this guy? You love the wrestling so much. I haven't decided when I will do the second one yet. I do want to make another this year before Christmas. Like two per year, at least for now, you know, but I haven't decided when yet because the streaming anniversary is next month But I feel like that's too soon. So maybe I'll wait till like the summer, you know, do like a summer thing Wrestling highlights when I should really Asses of Calamity. I do that joke every single time. WrestleMania X Stoke Zone Smackdown crossover. That's an idea. Last time it was Nebula who invaded the match with fucking Morsho on his side. So maybe the, maybe there's gonna be some more guest appearances, who knows. That should be enough. <laughs> Boss health bar reminds you of the Raymond 2 health bar. <laughs> I can see that actually. Yes, good. Good. Oh, here it is. The Ark of Elements. Let's go. I hope I hadn't crafted this already. Nope. Okay. So, how do I upgrade this one? Okay, this is the this is the one. We need Galaxia. Okay. Back to the start. How do we get Galaxia? Crafting. The true biome blade. Okay, how do we craft that? Biome blade. Okay, how do we craft that? Broken Biome Blade. Okay, how do we craft that? Wooden Sword. Okay, how do we get- wait. I know how to craft a Wooden Sword. I ain't stupid. Is it Meta Knight's sword called Galaxia? Maybe it's a reference. If a right farts in the woods and no one is around. Did I really fart? That, that button has quickly become like my most used button because it, it fits so many scenarios. When it's just like sus and like, you know, eyebrow raise.
This is how it begins. <laughs> With the wooden sword. Okay, yeah, the crafting recipes have definitely changed. Dirt, sand, ice, evil, glowing mushroom, marble, coral. Okay, coral, hellstone, granite, dirt, sand. Coral. Hellstone, we gotta go get some. Dirt. Sand. Ah, we gotta get sand and some ore. Oh yeah, can't forget to ditch this. What a disappointment that was. The weird audio glitch hasn't happened again, but that's not proof or anything. You need to see if the problem persists during your friend stream, yeah. I feel like these freaking power cell factories are actually like lagging. Lagging my world, because there has been an increasing amount of lag tonight, and the only new thing I can think of is, is this. Okay, before we continue crafting the sword, let's do this. What? We have to wait? Can't wait for the stacking to become vanilla. It's so cool, dude. It's like real, real calm hours. I hate, I hate that. But yeah, it's just such a quality of life feature. Where, where am I gonna get normal sand from? If everything is like. Hello, how am I gonna get normal sand? There has to be some sand pockets in here somewhere. Okay, here's one. Oh yeah, while we're, while we're at it, let's go to the underground! And get some hellstone. What other features have they like shown off for the next update? Watch them add another boss. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure they won't. Making the bosses is actually like time consuming for them. But imagine if they actually added a boss, Moonlord's legs. I like how Moonlord's legs actually exist in the game already, but it's a vanity item. Oh, no, I know what's lagging my game. It's the freaking ocean we emptied. I gotta go patch that shit because the liquid is actually like lagging. I gotta go <laughs> take care of that. This is no good. Let's actually go from down here. We got some ash blocks we can use to, uh, you know, chug it. Chug it? No, plug it. <laughs> Thomas, why would you drain it to begin with? It was, it was there, you know, so I was just like, you know, funny. I wanted to see the ocean actually drain, but I'm not sure if oceans in Terraria can drain, because I think since they're next to the edge of the world, they keep filling on their own, but I'm not sure. I've never actually seen anyone drain an ocean in Terraria before. They can. Cool. Oh my god, we're approaching it and the lag is like increasing. We're approaching the lag point. <laughs> Moonlord's ass. How did I miss that? There is actually a world border like further out. Oh, interesting. You don't believe in oceans. But you can't see the world border. Okay, so I believe that exists, so... 
stuff can still, still spawn outside of the world. Oh, look at this. This is no good. This is no good. We have to end this. Uh oh, even the audio is snapping now. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Where's the where's the hole? Oh no. Where's the hole? <laughs> Run dead. Here's the hole. Okay. This needs to be plugged immediately. There we go. Okay, there's still like glitchy water in here, but that should uh, that should fix it. <laughs> Rip playthrough. That was scary. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, let's see. We have the dirt. We have the sand. We need the ice. We need the mushrooms, and we need the evil blocks. Ice. Evil blocks and glowing mushrooms. Is that all? Marble and granite. Okay. I don't have any marble bro bros. Marble bros? Dude, me and my marble bros. Let's go get some. Hopefully that helps with the lag. There's some marble. <laughs> Turn it all down. What the fuck? Why did you flood hell? How did you flood hell? <laughs> I... I, <laughs> I removed the plug from the bottom of the, the void. Or like, the abyss. <laughs> you tried the scoop kick cheat code? Angry face? Dude, did you like it? Did you hear about the cartoon? The Rayman cartoon? Yes. If you wanna hear my thoughts on the Rayman cartoon, watch... Uh, the Reverse Rayman VOD Part 2. It's gonna be up on YouTube tomorrow. But if you want the TLDR... Fucking sucks. Yeah, <laughs> you liked it. Hell yeah. Here we go, Bion Blade. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, it suits Vomit? Dude, what? Oh no! We're filled with items! Okay. Can we upgrade that? Okay, hang on. Terraria item storage mod. Magic storage. Okay. I need to take a look at the upgrading components. Blue chlorified storage unit. Okay, it's crafted from... Let me guess. Shroomite bars, specter bars, and beetle husks. Oh, I don't need to worry about this now! <sighs> People be like, at least we're getting something, Rayman! <laughs> Copium overdose. Okay. Let's get some of, some of these. Emeralds. Please tell me I have beetle husks. I have two. It's enough for, for one, but we need to go get more soon. Is there any other cheat codes in Scoop Kick? Yes. <laughs> I won't reveal any more cheat codes unless you apologize! <laughs> what did you do? The world is still lagging. I hate this. Did we just like... Blood Moon! <gasps> we can't waste this chance. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Uh, What's it called that drops... The calm that drops in the dungeon? Guys, help me out here. What's it called? The white stuff. 
Oh, here, it, oh, found it, don't worry. Okay, and how do I... I have five, oh, I need one more. Okay, that's gonna help a little bit, but not enough. Okay, let's go take care of this Blood Moon. Let's stay here and wait. How do you find them? You couldn't find anything else on the Google. Uh, you can't. They're hidden on purpose. Just gotta wait, you know. You accidentally dug through the abyss into hell. Not accidentally, it was on purpose, but yes. <laughs> Don't say what it's called, the white stuff again. <laughs> Let me bring up OBS so I can actually see the timer. All right. Well, I ho I was hoping we could have, you know, at least tried to fight the Exomex this stream, but turns out it's just a waiting game. Oh my god, look at the werewolves. It's full moon, this is great. We get double the drops. Look at all these freaking banners. I hope the water will stop flowing eventually. You know, down here! <laughs> So the lag should stop, as soon as the water, like, you know, fixes itself. Oh yeah, look at these blood orbs! This is exactly what I needed. Well... You know, don't really need to do anything now that I think about it. Let's just sit here. I'm gonna put something heavy on the mouse so I keep swinging and we can just talk about fun stuff in the meanwhile, right? Let me use my piggy bank. Money is heavy. There we go. All right. So what's new in the world? Are there any video game news or something we could talk about? You think literally all of the water is in hell now? No, 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 don't worry. I plugged it before things got any worse. <sighs> that ape thing you freaked out over, but I don't know what the deal with this is. Oh yeah, Monkey Island is coming back, guys! The classic, and it's actually made by Lucas... Lucas Games, whatever it's called, Lucas Films, Lucas Games, Lucas Arts, you know, whatever, Star Wars people. And it's made by the original dev. And people are excited. There's a chance it could actually be, like, good. And that is exciting. One thing I wasn't too keen on was that in the trailer everything was done with tweening. You know, like the... The 2D puppet animation, you know? Where everything is like a 2D flash puppet and they all kind of like wail. So if the game is gonna use that, it, there's a chance it could look kind of cheap. But, you know... 
actual frame by frame animation costs like so much money so no wonder they're not doing that but you know it it kind of loses some of its charm when it doesn't have that nothing wrong with che tweening yeah for sure but you know first order series kind of looks cheap you haven't heard of that series i was actually considering like streaming the first one now that there's like a new one coming out the legend of the monkey island Cheap tween sucks, but tweening when done right looks great. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I've only ever just seen bad tweening then. Did you know Rick and Morty is a tween show? Well, yeah. I never, like, thought about it. <coughs> oh my god, sorry. I never, like, put any thought into it, but yeah, it is tweened. It looks it looks like that tweened animation, however you call it. Puppets, you know, moving about. Family guy, you know, basically. I need a way to get down there, because there's some blood orbs down there. Family Guy uses Toon Boom. Well, shows how much I know. <laughs> Maybe I was more, talking, more so talking about the art style than the actual like animation tools used. Dude, I need the good suck right about now. The suck potion. hell was that did you see we took like massive damage how did that happen what hit us that's us did you see it let's take a closer look when you see it the egg you threw at the start of the stream finally came back <laughs> the freaking egg I sent it to fetch me a sandwich I was thinking about playing rust you know I have a little conundrum with rust because I'm a pussy! I don't wanna play with random people. But that's the fun part about Rust, playing with people. So my second thought was, what if I host like our own community server? But the problem with that is hosting your own community server, you know? It would be <laughs> a lot of work. So I'm in a little like roadblock here. Kinda wanna play Rust again, but I don't wanna play with random people. I gotta figure out what to do. Maybe I'll just play. It would be at least much work as your Discord server was. Not really, because it would only be online. Actually, yeah. Well, if you if I did it with friends, it wouldn't be much work because I can trust my friends to not like say bad words during streams or something like that. But if it was with, like, randos, well, not, like, randos, but, like, people who watch my stream, as in the community, you know, then it would need some moderation.
How's the moon looking? Oh! Speak of the devil, the devil shall short. Let's get some blood orbs. Do I still got some suck potions? Because I need a good old suck right about now. Look at all this shit. Rust is the game where you show your ankles, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you are naked in that game. So I guess? What? <laughs> I see. Speak of the devil and the devil is all shot and instantly screams Nebula, Nebula, Nebula! Yeah, Rust is the survival game. Oh! Okay, that was not too bad. Just sell everything, I don't need anything. Alright, has the thing decrypted its stuff yet? We did an army as weapon do the soldiers, yada yada yada, okay. Uh, I think it's this one. Upgrade required, okay, what did we get? Now I need the wiki again. I'm gonna find the code breaker again. Okay. Long ranged sensor. Wait. Uh, what did I just research? It was this one. Okay, so it gives me the long range thing. Let me take a look at the crafting. Mysterious circuits, dubious plating, any mithril bar, okay. And more wiring. Dubious creature. Okay, so this one has been scanned. Let me put it away so I don't get confused later. Okay, so now we scan these. Okay. The jungle. Oh shit, I just noticed I had the freaking chat minimized. Okay, what were you guys saying? <laughs> By the way, okay, what's up? Alright, that's gonna take its well while, let's keep continuing on crafting that uh, sword. Biome Blade. Okay, dude. What's next? Okay. Living Shards, Ectoplasm, Depth Cells, Luminul, and Tenebris. I'm not gonna remember all of that. Ectoplasm. Ectoplasma. The Lego character of the day is George 
The fur from Lego City Undercover. <laughs> okay. I need to check that out. I've never like seen any footage of Lego City Undercover. True Bion Blade. Let's go, let's go. Bart. Okay. Okay. Core of Calamity, Five Luminite and Galactic Singularity. Ay, ay, ay. Let me just go with bar. There we go. How many <laughs> was it again? Three of those and three of those. Okay. Core of Calamity, so that means... Here we go. <laughs> Scream! Yeah, it's nasty. Me no like it. It's nasty. Yay, we got one, all right. I should just sell these weapons I don't need because I don't need them. All right, that should be enough to... Here we go, <gasps> guys. Omega, Bion Blade. Omega. Sure. Okay, how do we upgrade that? Okay, Galaxia, here we go. Cosmilite and Dark Sun Fragments. This one is the easiest one yet. And here we go. Galaxia. Pew pew pew! Doesn't look like the Meta Knight Sword, but then again. Ah, here we go! Arc of the Cosmos! Is this really the final, final phase? This sword does only 282 melee damage, whereas the Enforcer does almost 2000. Omega Tones Blade! Markiplier has been on YouTube for 10 years today. Oh my! I remember watching Markiplier when I was a little kid. No, but genuinely, I remember watching Markiplier like before he even did FNAF videos. You know, not religiously, but I did know him and watched some of his scary videos. His chin has expanded exponentially over the years. Alright guys, here we go, Ark of the Cosmos. Insane knockback. Fires different homing projectiles based on what bomb you're in. Upon hitting an enemy, you are granted a buff based on what bomb you're in. Projectiles also change based on moon event. Well, you know. Let's try it on the boss. The boss. Ah, uh, no. We went through all of that. Oh well.
Well, at least we got some cores. That's always good. <laughs> I'm back. Hello, do you have pizza? You just ate four huge slices of pizza. Oh my god, now you're making me want some pizza. Dude, we crafted the, de uh, the Ark of Cosmos, but it sucks. I can't believe these weapons with longer crafting trees and like, you know... More resources needed are worse than the freaking... The <laughs> Enforcer! Like, bruh. <laughs> you lost. <sighs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Yeah, why do all these weapons suck ass? Like, you'd expect post Uharon weapons to be, like, super strong, but no. Melee damage, 282, whereas Enforcer from the Hour of God, almost 2000. Okay, what's the next crafting thing? Advanced display. Now that that would be life alloy and glass. <laughs> yes. Let's craft a huge chunk. There we go. You bet Air Force's damage input accidentally has like one zero too many. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now we can scan this. Oh shit, no, we need something else. Okay. What is it that we need next? Um jungle. Oh, hell. All right. And that's the ice. Okay, so we need the hell next. So that should be easy. Let's go to hell. Even though Enforcer has, like, massive... You know, now that I think about it... It might be a better option as, like, a ranged melee, so I'll replace that one. But true melee, I'll still keep Enforcer, because that shit, like, woo! So if I need to attack something with, like, ranged melee, I'll just use this. For, like, Yharon, for example. You had to re-upload the entire Nivelle soundtrack the other day because you wanted them to have the uploaded logo. I noticed, but the uploaded logo is good! So, we haven't found anything this way, so I guess we're going this way then. There's unopened doors here. Please, more, more tracks, please. Can't wait for Nivala 2, the electric boogaloo. <laughs> Nivala 2 featuring me. <laughs> Yo, is that piss? Look at this, there's like little piss pools in the lava. Oh, we're under the jungle.
Let me guess there's gonna be like a massive research station down here at the very, very edge. Oh shit! There it is! Almost missed it! Oh, that was scary. No, I don't want to pour lava into the place, actually. There it is. Also, Murasama. Wait, what is this? Look at the melee damage. What's going on? It's over 6,000! <laughs> Wait. Real. Holy shit, who's, who wants to taste this weapon? <laughs> we gotta test it on a boss. What is this? Wait, let's scream. Holy fuck, what? <laughs> the thumbnail for this will be epic! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, that is the weapon from Metal Gear, right? Like, that is the same weapon. There will be blood! Yeah, it is. The fucking description says there will be blood. ID and power level locked. Prove your strength or have the correct user ID to wield this sword. Cool. Cool. I guess you need to be called... What was the dude called again in the game? I guess you need to be called that to be able to unlock the true potential of the weapon. Weapon. Jack the Reaper. <laughs> this is crazy. Absolutely nutty. Just stream some moment, yeah. I need more Metal Gear emotes. First I gotta play Metal Gear. Jetstream Sam? What's that really his name? What a weird fucking Kojima ass name. Okay, well, fuck you, Ark of Cosmos, I guess. Murasa Muramasa is here to stay. Wait, it's Murasama, not Muramasa. <laughs> the memes. <laughs> I need that on my soundboard so I can just play it and you know he goes like the memes Metal Gear Revengers was not made by Kojima I know I realized it after I finished the sentence but you know it's still a Kojima ass name the world is still suffering from mini mini lag so, you know, I'm afraid the ocean is still, like, pouring, but who cares? The man in the mirror, Nazi shit! Okay, now we just need to wait for 1,000 more. 
Have I seen Saturday's LEGO character of the day? You just told me who it was. Oh, wait, wait, Saturday. Uh, yes, <laughs> it was the, the Sam. Jetstream Sam from Metal Gear Revengeance. I saw it. It was very good. Sammy boy. Yo, now I actually want to try this boss damage with these different weapons we have. Uh, not this one. Um, you know, you hard on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did I toss it? You know, I wanna try these different weapons against the boss while we wait for the things to come, so let's do it. Let's try potionless. I think I'm, uh, you know, fighting more than I can chew here, but yeah. <laughs> Just streams out in Lego. It's so good, dude. Alright, Uharon, I brought some new weapons. Let's see. The Arid will come! Okay, Uharon. Okay, not good. I think we gotta use this, but hey, let's try. Okay, the Murasama was too... too close, you know. Or too melee. I'm gonna use this instead. I, I think I might die still, but hey, at least we're trying. If you go too far up in this fight, uh, Uharon gets angry. Shit. Oh, fuck. You can't believe this mod is filled with so many Metal Gear references. Not even Metal Gear, sorry, just Revengeance one specifically. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> because the devs love Revengeance. There's even a Revengeance mode where everything is harder. And the music is inspired by Revengeance. Or, you know, and the whole idea of fighting tough bosses is... I think it's really cool. Oh shit. Revengeance was a good game, honestly. It was so good. I love Metal Gear Gear Gil Blah. I loved Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. Is it is it Solid even part of the title in Revengeance? I don't remember, but yeah, I love that game. Can't wait for them to make a sequel, you know. Oh yeah, it was Metal Gear Rising, yes. This is a message to my master. Fireballs, balls, real balls. <laughs> Are you winning, Rai? Yes. 
doing filler stuff while we wait for some <laughs> stuff you actually have to wait for in this game. And by filler stuff I mean fight the previous hardest boss in the game. Oh, balls! Dude, that's some crazy ass balls right there. Hey, we did it! Now, where's the loot? Oh. Oh! Alright. I think the souls. Yeah, there we go. What set am I using? Uh, pretty mixed, but armor-wise, uh, Auric, Au Auric Tesla. <laughs> Yo, we got the mask. Awesome. Yo, Dragon's Breath. Wait. Oh, okay, this one is an actual gun. That's cool. Was the music in game? Yes, it was. The one with singing. You looked at the cover art and thought, dude, that guy is hot. <laughs> you saw when it came out when you were young. Can you believe Revenge is like 10 years old already? Wait, 8 years, I think. Well, I guess we have time to fight again, you know. Try to get some other weapons. Let's see how we're doing over here. I might actually try this against the boss now. Oh, waiting game. Mm, our despise waiting. Let's go again. You know, there's a chance we will get some good Uharon drops, and that's that's what I want at the moment. Don't think I can fight Supreme Calamitas. How about? While in the abyss, use an item that inflicts chaos states. Oh, Rod of Discord, that's gonna be... ...ass to get. No, wait, you are on. Here we go. So, what are your drops? Dragon Rage. That, that weapon right there. I want one of these melee weapons. I guess we're gonna go again. Wish me luck. You actually made good Kirby progress. Always scary to start coloring large areas, but the solution is just to start. Hell yeah. I'm actually gonna try using the gun. Even though I'm not a ranger, but you know, who cares about that? If it works, it works. I can't really tell which one is faster. I think overall in the end I should just be using the melee weapon. No, you have some kind of headache, dude. You took it from me, the migraine. Whoa!
Uharon still uses an old sprite. I don't know if they're actually planning on remaking the sprite of Uharon, but he still looks like the old bosses, you know. He looks mushy <laughs> and weird. Balls. Training balls. Never would have really expected Terraria and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance to mix together so well when it comes to like the I guess the gameplay ideology of like fighting tough bosses and opponents. But Terraria is already a boss heavy game, so it really does make sense. Keep dodging, don't get cocky. Where? Oh shit. Ah! Please give me the melee weapon. Yo! We just got multiple drops. Ugh. Another Dragon's Breath? You gotta be kidding me. The final dawn. Bruh. Well, now I'm gonna try this. Dungas Cog. Have you fought the Exomex yet? No. The the whole thing that I'm doing here, with like these and like waiting for these to like get crafted, that's something I need to do before the Exomex can be spawned. So it's just a waiting game, and I don't like that, but gives me a chance to farm the the dragon, you know. Now this might actually be something that I do off stream. Generate these power cells, you know. I'll see, I'll let the world sit here for a moment, so I have just uh, thousands of these power cells for next for the next stream, and possibly farms of Blood Moon. But other than that, I'm not gonna do anything off stream. Just kind of slightly running out running out of patience with this series. Oh, let's go again! Ooh! This one is also doing like good damage. But I think this is still better for me. Yep.
It's a struggle to make endgame content in video games. That's a test of skill and commitment rather than patience. Yeah. That's true. But then again, I haven't fought the Exomex and others yet. Just the, the thing of like, you know, building up to the boss, doing like the research stuff and all that shit, that's kinda like stinkos. It's kind of grindy. I guess the intent was that you're do you're you're supposed to do it during your playthrough, it, you know, like slow progress every now and then, and not like this, how I'm doing, you know, when I'm trying to like do it all at once. Adult Edon Worm from the health you've seen just seems like patience. Ugh. That's definitely gonna be not fun. <laughs> but I think my, you know, uh, well, I promised I would do all of the bosses. Ah! Uh! Let's see how things go. Maybe, maybe Supreme Calamitas will be my ultimate end goal. Red sauce. Red sauce over paradise. Red sauce. Oh. Yeah, this is not good. My HP, that is. Red Sars. I just love the idea that there's like a huge glowing among us in the sky. Lighting the quote unquote paradise. Rapid! Oh, I forgot about the bunny! Did we get the sword? Yes, we did! The burning sky. It really is the red sus weapon. Also, summon. Wait, what does it summon? Requires five minion slots? The son of Ivar Iharon? Bruh. Have you seen the new Moyang logo from the new Minecraft snapshot? <laughs> You mean the Mojang logo? <laughs> Burning sky. Wow. The way he got the red Zeus. <laughs> Uh, well, there's still another melee weapon. I wanna read the wiki article for the Murasama and see... Like, you know... What it says.
about the user ID thing. Resembling a sword, it can be found in the uh, container within the security chest. It cannot be swung until jungle dragon Uharon has been defeated in the current world. It poses a larger than normal critical strike chance. Okay, so it's locked before you beat Uharon. Um. Oh! The sword can be used at any time point before defeating Uharon if the character's name is Jetstream Sam or Samuel Rodriguez. That's a cool fucking <laughs> easter egg thing. Are we doing? Holy shit. Okay, finally. Okay, let's do this. Let's fight the boss one more time. Let's try the new weapon. Also, I do want to try this again. Okay. First things first. Oh, this, it's gonna be hard to aim with this one. That's the problem. Okay, let's try to, like... Get your on close. How about the enforcer? Okay, let's just do this uh, the good old way. Do you think Rai is popular enough to announce fake holidays that have a trend? What? Like the Among Us day? Oh no, don't tell me fucking like Minecraft Dream or something like that announced a holiday. Probably not tretty 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 la la la. You will start your stream in eight minutes. All right. I will remember to be there. Is Rai popular enough to get the Rai toast on Arsla's place? <laughs> oh my god. I actually looked at the Arsla's place picture earlier today and it's pretty cool, honestly. You could stare at that picture for hours and keep finding new shit. There was even a little Rayman in there.
<laughs> As there should be. It was next to the French flag. Sadly, it's ruined by some streamers that just trash some stuff for no reason. The enormous one. Oh, guys, Arshas plays drama. Okay, let's see how this thing is progressing. <laughs> there is Arsa's place drama for real. Bruh. But it can be funny if you choose a zone without a lot of stuff, yeah. Yada 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 yada. Next one. So how do I craft the next component? It would be the voltage regulation system. Well, bloom and luminite. All right. Let's drag a lot of fake ride drama so the Reddit will take notice. The first thing you saw about Arsa's place was when you woke up on April Fools. Check the Discord and saw people talk about people crusading against trans flags, and it was really confusing. Oh uh, yeah, edgy 4 channels or something like that. Oh yeah, craft a component. Who'd want Reddit to take notice? Oof. Here we go. Alright, and can we now do this? It's gonna cost 5,000! Okay guys, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I will idle offline to get 5,000 of these freaking power cells. I think that's only fair. Because, really, there's nothing else for me to do at this point than, like, farm. Farm Uharonan, we already, like, got, like, 67 souls. Starting in five. Need to get ready, yeah. See ya. Bird banner. Are the Exomex the last bosses? They're the second to last boss. After that, there's the... Supreme Calamitas. So here's my plan. Offline, I will farm for the idols. No, not the idols, the power cells or whatnot. And I will try to get something that causes the chaos debuffs so we can fight the idled Edelon Worm. You know, the Rod of Discord or something like that, because those are notoriously hard to get. Tell the story of the tuna fish Jambari. <laughs> no. My head is also getting a bit heavy. I think I'm just gonna call it a day since there's nothing else to do here. You know, I told you guys I had a migraine and it still affects my head. So... I think I might just call it a day here. But... Let me check the wiki real quick so I can see how many more, like, phases there are on this machine. 
Yeah, migraines suck, especially the big ones, because they can, like, last for a couple of days, you know? It, it doesn't hurt anymore, but the head still feels heavy and eyes hot. Stuff like that. Let me check the wiki real quick, just to see the final phases, so... The next one is the final phase. Endothermic energy. Hang on. Can I craft these? Or do I need... Core... Endothermic energy. Okay, not yet. Yeah, as I thought. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call Terraria here. I'm gonna do this more <laughs> later. But as I said, I'm gonna idle for the power cells of offline because that's just crazy.